Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, got a few clips for you this week. Um, this first one is from one of our jiu-jitsu classes this week. And the question was um, dealing with chokes from side control. We did a few techniques on uh, what to do um, when the hand gets in the collar, but this one is a, a drill that we're setting up to help the students learn how to control the position and make it difficult for the guy on cross side to even get his hands in. Uh, we want to be one step ahead of him um, with this drill, keeping him busy, out of position, and keeping good mechanics under the bottom on our defensive uh, position um, to force him uh, to have to deal with the position so that he doesn't have an opportunity to uh, find the submission. From here. Now we could say, let's just work that one move. Any, we say any choke. Right, any choke from side. So what I want to do is second he makes it. Right, see that hand? Okay, this next one is uh, from our Filipino Kali class, uh, Filipino martial arts class. We've been working on a lot of flow drills in the various ranges uh, this last month in that class. And we've been working our way into close range. This next drill is uh, Hubud, which is a tie and untie drill at close range. Um, and what we're doing right when the clip starts, we're entering into that range from one of our previous drills and just uh, getting the guys up to speed on the three moves that uh, they need to start this basic drill. Sometimes I'll just feed that idea just as 
part of the flow, just to kind of check that lower hand, see if he's in the right place. You know, I have to do it every time, I just check it every time. Okay, this next clip is from one of our uh, self-defense classes where we actually had a question about uh, energy production as related to uh, some old school Kung Fu training or Qigong training that I had done in the past. Um, so one of the things we're discussing here is a basic drill to introduce joint expansion uh, in the body and teach the student the sensation uh, that joint expansion, how it feels, so that they can have the ability to um, find it in other parts of the body later on. So we're, we're, what we're doing, this drill is called the Iron Cross, and uh, we're just getting started talking about that in this class here. Show the dominant meridian line with a solid line like that. Thunderball is working that meridian. That's why they do that. It's not a weapon hand. So when he does it, he's really opening here. If I were to help him do it, I could almost grab the arms and go like that. Help him open the joint. I want to decompress the joint here, right? So what he's imagining, he's pushing his palms dead center toward the walls, and then he's going to try to stretch this finger up. What that sometimes feels like is a nerve injury. Okay, we got it right. So I'm going to, we'll do this with partners, because a little bit of help gets it a little more. Like if I just send energy a little bit, it would get stronger. I'm hardly going to move it. So just relax. What you're doing is stretching connected tissue along a meridian. You're expanding it. Okay, this next clip um, actually is not in a class. This is one of our training sessions that we do during the day here at the school. Sometimes we do different research. Uh, sessions uh, with Chris that's the person that's working with me here and this one was for our civilian tactical program um, CTAC is a force continuum based self-defense program so they end up dealing with a lot of close quarter gun manipulation so what we're doing is we're playing around with different drills um, in order to create a flow and then you'll see that I form the V in other words I just reach for the belt line which we call forming the V. It could be for a gun, a folding knife, it, it doesn't matter. So initially he is developing the nervous system to respond to that visual stimulus and get there quickly. And then we gradually start to build on the drill and clear the arm as a response. So this drill eventually builds up and it goes back and forth. And what we want to do is choose certain reactions um, to ingrain in the nervous system that will come out later in a short uh, technique. So right now it's just primarily a flow drill to have flow to develop those out of. Come on, Ryan. He's training to stop it. So he stops it like that. All right, so as he gets better at it, I've got to do something about that. So I see that coming, I like to clear it. All right, gotta finish. Second one, uh, we're kind of using the forearm, is the elbows. A lot of times I'll use this motion. I gotta watch this, obviously, right? So I'm making sure that it's locked in that direction. So I clear it and come back online. Okay, this next one is an older clip um, from one of our Eric Paulson seminars. I think this was actually in 2016. Um, coach is getting ready to run through a couple of submission and, uh, submissions and ideas uh, from a north-south position or moving into north-south 
um, out of a side control position. <laughs> All right, guys, this next one is uh, one of the drills we did in class this week um, in our Gracie Jiu-Jitsu class. Um, Chris is teaching in this clip, and what he's doing is breaking down uh, the person underneath his ability to place his feet so he can bridge, which is one of the main mechanical moves uh, the guy on the bottom needs to escape from underneath the mounted position. Um, he waits until the uh, practitioner on the bottom starts the turn and then he takes advantage of misplacement of the shoulder in order to work his way into a back control position. So we're attacking the legs, keeping our mouth. And um, this is what's nice about it is it prevents the elbow escape. So even if I get an arm in, he starts to try to elbow, he doesn't have an elbow. Attacking the elbow. He the legs attacking. He chose to elbow knee. Just nice. All I have to do is let his elbow go past. He's starting to commit to it. I can start to roll in. Take the back. So I'm attacking his legs. I'm keeping the elbow. I'm attacking his arms. He's got to save himself. He doesn't want to be here. He goes for that elbow on the escape. All I have to do is fade back a little bit. I'm off his elbow. Now I'm behind it. His elbow's in front. Uh, I can just shift the weight. Just let him go. Yeah, now I'm on his back. Okay, guys, that's it for this week. Um, we, are, we are going to be teaching a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu seminar in Athens, Georgia this weekend. So uh, it's going to be a full day. The guys have, have a lot planned up there. And so we should get some good uh, clips from that event. And then the next week we're going to be having a uh, camp, an instructor training camp here at the school for four days. So uh, we should be getting uh, some pretty good uh, clips and information from that one too in order to share. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next week guys.